What's good, y'all? It's King T's. Welcome back to Throughout the Association. And man, Kevin Durant, Jay Z tried to tell y'all. Everybody took shots, hit my body up. I'm tired. Build me up, break me down, and build me up again. They like, ho, we need you back so we can kill your ass again. Don't you know how this worked by now? You were playing great, and LeBron not in the playoffs, so the media was gassing you up, calling you the best, and everybody just somehow forgot that you was on Golden State. You got hurt. Golden State has not lost since then, had advanced to their fifth straight finals, and has reminded everybody why you get so much criticism for going to Golden State. Now, you would think after watching this team advance to their fifth straight finals, even though they did so without him, Kevin Durant would be ecstatic right now. But judging from his activity on social media, that don't really seem to be the case. It's actually seeming to strike a nerve. The more Golden State win without him, the more everybody talk about how they look without him, and the more active he is on social media. Now, that brings me to Chris Broussard. Two days ago, Chris Broussard said that Kevin Durant's worst nightmare would be Golden State winning without him, which they may just have to do so because Kevin is not available right now. But Kevin Durant responded to that, and he said, I see a little exaggeration there, buddy. My worst nightmare? You sure that this is the worst it can get? Now, keep in mind, two days ago, this is the day of the Warriors game four against the Blazers with a chance to advance to their fifth straight finals and before the game, this is what Kevin Durant is worried about. But today, Chris responded to what Kevin said on Twitter. And Chris basically said that they have a love-hate relationship. He's heard Kevin say worse to him in private. They've had a lot of, they've had a lot of conversations about life, basketball, etc. In Chris's response, he said nothing negative about Kevin Durant. But y'all know Kevin Durant, trap money Benny, always in his feelings. He went on Twitter and he said, <laughs> I smell cap, cap. Cap, 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 you don't have my number, man. To which Chris Broussard responded and said, IGDM, Twitter DM, text, it's all the same thing nowadays, dude. Don't act like I'm lying. Now, this is essentially the same thing that Kevin did to Stephen A. Basically said, not me or anybody close to me have any conversations with this man. We don't know who he is. Now, the easiest way for Chris to, to prove that Kevin is lying is to post the receipts, but I doubt he gonna do that. But man, Kevin Durant... Your team is in the finals. Who cares what's being said on TV? Now, maybe Kevin Injury is giving them a lot of free time right now, but somebody close to Kevin Durant, man, don't y'all know by now that, that social media is this man kryptonite? Somebody take his damn phone. Kevin Durant is allergic to social media. If the narrative about you on Golden State bother you so much, leave in free agency and finally lead a team to a championship because as long as you on Golden State, that narrative is not going to change. But until then, his number one focus should be trying to get back on that court. And if he can't do that, root for his team to win and help in any way he can. Because all this is doing right now, this is just causing a distraction. This, if you ask me, all this is, is really kind of selfish of Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant needs to take Iguodala advice because Iguodala seen all this nonsense on Twitter. And he said to Kevin Durant, man, F them in words, man. Kevin Take his advice. Know what you guys think about this? And definitely subscribe.